Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 14th MongoDB for beginners tutorial and in this video I want to talk about update operators. Okay, now first of all, I want to cast our mind back to when we created the schema for our Mario character model. And it looks something like this. We said it could expect a name, which would be a string, and it could expect a weight, which would be a number. Now, so far we've used this name quite a lot, but we've not used this weight property. And I want to focus on this weight property in this tutorial. So what is a update operator? An update operator is just something that can help us update our fields in certain ways or our properties in certain ways. For example, we can have a rename update property, uh, sorry, update operator, which renames a particular field for us. Or we can have an increment update operator, which will increment a particular field for us. And that's the one we're going to be looking at in this tutorial, the increment operator. So this thing right here, we're going to increment. I want you to imagine that all of our Mario characters are going to have some kind of party, stuff the faces, and their weight is going to go up by one. So we're going to use that increment operator to update the records so that the weight goes up by one. Okay, so I'm still here in the updating test, and so far we've got this one test right here in it. So what I want to do now is use that update operator to increment the weight property. So the first thing I need to do is add the weight property to this character right here where we create it before each test here. So let us now say weight and set that equal to 50. So 50 kilograms, right? Now then, down here, I'm going to create a new it block. So I'm just going to copy this dude and paste it below. And then we'll rename this and we'll say updates or increments rather the weight by one. Okay, cool. So what are we going to do? First of all, we'll get rid of this stuff. I'm still going to use Mario Kart, that's the model. And we're still going to use the update method. So I want to say dot update because this would potentially then go and get all the records. We're not just finding one record anymore. We would potentially be finding all of the records and updating the weight of all of them by one. Okay. Now we want, first of all, the name or rather, in fact, we don't want the name to be anything because we want every record. So we'll just leave an empty object that's going to return every record. So the second parameter is what we want to update. Remember, now we can't just say weight is now 51 because although that was Mario's weight right here, 50, and it's incremented by one to 51. If we had other records, Yoshi, Luigi, Princess, they might not all have the same weight. One could be 40, one could be 70. So they're not all going to be 51 after they've stuffed the faces. There'd be 71, 51, 41, etc. So we can't do that. Instead, what we want to do is we want to increment each of their current weights by one. So the way we do that is by doing a dollar sign, first of all, and saying ink. This is the update operator right there. And it means increment. So once we've done that, then we do a little colon and we pass an object. And we're saying which properties now in this object we want to increment. So we want to do the weight one and we want to increment it by one. So this here means take the current weight and add one to it. Okay. And if you want to deduct one from it, you do minus one. If you want to deduct 10, you do minus 10. Or if you want to plus 10, you do plus 10. We just want to add one. So that is what this is going to do. It's going to update the records so that the weight is plus one to the current weight. And it's asynchronous. So it returns a promise and we can say dot then to wait until the end of it and say this function is going to fire when the update operation, this thing here, is complete. So in here, what we want to do now is check that this has worked, that we've added one to the weight. So let's say Mario car dot find one and we want to find Mario. So we'll say the name is going to be Mario. And then what we want to do is say dot then because again this is an asynchronous request which could take some time so we want to say dot then to wait until this is finished fire a function when it has finished with the results or the record whatever you want to call it then inside here we've got that record and we want to check that the weight is incremented by one we know the previous weight was 50 so now we can check that the weight is 51 so let's say assert that the record returned to us 
dot weight if we can spell it correctly is triple equals to 51 okay so if this has worked then it should be 51 then we can say done to finish the test all right so let's try this out i'm going to come up here and say npm run test all right awesome six passing increments the weight by one so this my friends has successfully worked it's gone out it's found the characters it's updated the weight by one and if there was more than one character in the database it would update them all by one because we've not passed any search parameters through there we're just saying get them all increment them all by one then fire this function which goes out it finds one of our records mario and it checks that that record has a weight of 51 which is one above the initial value right there okay so that is just one of the update operators available to us i just want to point you in the direction now of the mongodb uh, documentation about update operators and you can see there's quite a few here and I would advise you to go and have a little read of this and just play around with a few different ones of them. They're all relatively simple to understand. And uh, I'll leave this link down below for you to, uh, to go and explore.